Hello, welcome to how to install and configure Amazon Web Service command line interface on Mac. The AWS CLI has a rich set of commands to do practically everything you can do through the AWS console. Once you become familiar with CLI commands, it can save you a lot of time and clicks to accomplish the same task. So here's our agenda. First, we will install the CLI on Mac computer. Then we will configure the CLI in several different ways to connect to the AWS account, starting with the configure command. Then we will set up name profiles and use environment variables to save your configuration settings on your computer. Finally, we will discuss precedence that AWS CLI uses when it comes to various configuration methods. If you're following along, you will need Mac computer and an AWS account. If you don't already have an AWS account, you can sign up for a free one at aws.amazon.com slash free. So let's get started. When it comes to installing AWS CLI, there are several components. At a high level, AWS CLI is a Python-based application that securely communicates with resources in your AWS account. PIP is package installation software used to install AWS CLI. The terminal application, which is already installed on your Mac OS, is the primary interface for you to issue AWS commands. There are several configuration files involved, namely the CLI and the bash, to set values so that CLI will work properly. So in this first part of the tutorial for installation of AWS CLI, there are basically three steps. First is a Python. Second is pip. And then finally, the AWS CLI itself. We'll go through each of these steps in the following tutorial. First step we're going to do, check to see if you have the right version of Python installed on your computer. The easiest way to do this is to open your terminal application. Now, if you're not familiar with terminal application, you can simply go to Launchpad. And usually, if you go to the other folder here, you will see this terminal application. Go ahead and click and open that. You'll, it'll open this uh, bash terminal application. I have it docked here so that I can use this and you might want to do that as well because we're going to be using this quite a bit in this demo. So all you have to do once you get here is simply type python dash dash version. And this will tell you if you have Python installed and what version you have. In my case, I have version 2.7.10. Now this is higher than the required 2.6.5, so I'm good to go. If I also want to check why here if I have Python version 3 installed. So if you want to do that, you simply type Python 3 space dash dash version. And you can see that I have Python 3.7.2 installed, which is also higher than the required version 3.3. In my case, I have the prerequis prerequisite uh, for Python. Now, if you do not have Python installed on your machine or your version is lower than the required for AWS CLI, then you need to install uh, Python. Um, so in order to do that, if you have this, you can fast forward this section. But if you don't, I will show you very quickly how to install Python. It's very simple. You just need to go to um, open and browser and just simply go to python.org. And then you can go to download in my case on Mac OS. And I will install the latest version 3.7.2 in this case. And I'll simply download the installation installer, Mac OS 64 bit installer on, onto my machine. Okay, once I have this downloaded, I simply then click on this and it'll walk me through this little wizard to install Python. And I'll continue and I accept, continue and I agree. And I say install and it asks me to pa um, enter my password and it'll install my software. Okay, so I'll close this. And it will ask me if I want to keep this. So I'm going to go ahead and just move that to trash because I don't need it anymore. Okay, so now once you do this, 
if you come back to your Python and you may want to restart your terminal application, but now when you um, type Python 3, you should see the version of Python 3.7.2 or whatever version you just installed um, display on this terminal application. Okay, in this step, we're going to check to see if you have pip installed. If you recall, pip is a popular uh, Python installer software. And we're going to be using pip to actually install AWS CLI. So again, open your terminal application and all you have to do is type pip space dash dash version. And this will tell you if you have pip installed. In my case, I do. Now, in your case, you might also want to check to see if pip3 installed. Sometimes pip doesn't show up, but pip3 does. So in my case, I do have pip installs. But in, in case you don't have to install, um, I'll show you very quickly how to install pip onto your machine. But if you have this, you can fast forward this section as well. So in order to install pip, um, all you have to do is download the pip installer. So in order to do that, I will go ahead and navigate to a local directory that I created. In my case, it's called Studio Demo. So I'll navigate to Studio Demo. And in there right now, I have nothing. So all you have to do in this case is just type in curl dash capital O and then type this URL, https colon slash slash boot strat.pypa.io slash get pip dot py. Okay, so when you do this, all that this is going to do is just download um, this file onto your local directory. Um, the dash o is an indication that you want it actually downloaded to a file. So let's go ahead and run this. You can see that it downloaded. So if I do a list you can see that now I have a little file called get-pip.py. Now use your Python that you installed from the previous step and simply um, install this file using Python 3. So when you do this, it'll go ahead and install run this program and it'll say it has in, uh, successfully installed pip now i already had pip so it basically uninstalled and reinstalled it on my machine so now once you do this um, if you now go and try the pip you should see um, this response that tells you that it's been installed and again you can do top pip 3 version okay so if you have this then you are done with this step and you have pip installed okay now it's time to install the aws cli itself so we're going to use the pip program that we just installed let's just make sure that's still working and there it is so now all you have to do is simply type pip3 install AWS CLI and I'm going to use this dash dash user parameter because I want to install AWS CLI only for my local user which I'm logged in as it's called Studio. So once I um, do this hit return it will go ahead and install the program. As you can see in this case because I used the user parameter it installed it in my uh, home directory in this case, user studio under library Python 3.7 slash bin. And you see that AWS program appeared right there. So now once you install this thing to check that the, the program is actually working, I can uh, issue the command AWS dash dash version. And the terminal application says command not found. And you say, what's going on here again? I just installed it, it's right there. So again, the problem here is that this terminal application does not know that the AWS program is installed in this subdirectory under bin. So just to check, 
you can see that um, if you look at the path variable, you can see that this, again, does not have the subdirectory where the AWS just got installed. So in order to fix this, you can simply add the path of where the, the program just got installed. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll just copy paste this here. So all I'm saying here is say, hey, terminal application, why don't you add this additional path variable uh, where I had, I know where this uh, program is installed in addition to the one that you're already aware of, in this case, dollar path variable. So once I do this, now this variable, this path is part of the known path variable. So now if I say AWS version, now it knows how to find it. Now that it installed it in, um, in this version, it's using Python 3.7.2, and it's good to go. Now, this is working for now, but it's kind of annoying because once you exit out of here, and let's just open a brand new terminal application, and I say AWS version, it doesn't find it again. And every time I come in here, I have to do this little export path to make it work again. Now this might be okay for you, but if you're gonna use this AWS CLI uh, frequently, this is quite annoying um, to have to do this every single time. So I'll show you now how to fix this permanently. Okay, it's time to fix this path variable once and for all. In order to do that, we're going to be using uh, the file called dot bash underscore profile. This file is simply a file that gets um, executed every time this terminal application fires up. And so you might say, well, where is that? So all you have to do is navigate to your home directory, which in my case is users, Studio. Now Studio is the user that I'm logged in as. And in that root directory here, you should see that file, except it's not there. And in order to see this hidden file, you type in uh, shift command period and all of a sudden, all these extra files show up. Now, in my case, I don't have this dot bash underscore profile. I have some other dot bash files. So I deleted it just for this demo. So if you don't have the dot dash underscore profile, you can simply come to the terminal application and type nano dot bash underscore profile. And all this does is it opens up a small little editor and you can type whatever you want. And then you can type control X to get out of here and say yes and hit enter. And all of a sudden it, the, the file just gets created. So you can see here, now I have this file called dot bash underscore profile. So if I just simply open this, it's just a simple text file and um, you can type whatever you want in here. So let me just view, uh, zoom in here so you can see a little bit better. So, What's happening here is um, whatever you type in here will get executed every time a terminal application fires up. So I'll type in a couple uh, commands here. So first of all, quick syntax. Anything that starts with the pound in this file is a uh, comment. It doesn't get executed. So now what I'm going to do is simply say, hey, uh, terminal application, whenever you fire up, I want you to append to the path variable that you're already aware of, in this case, dollar $path. I want you to append, and append is a colon, this additional path that I care about, because this is, if you recall, where my AWS CLI program is installed. And so once you do that, and type in this one extra uh, command, export path, and save this file. Now, every time the terminal application fires up, it should execute these set of commands. And if you recall, this is very similar to the uh, command that we typed in on the terminal application to fix the path problem. But now it's saved into this dot bash underscore profile. So now what's gonna happen is if I come back here um, and say uh, AWS 
version, it still doesn't work because this session that I'm on is not aware of this new um, file that I, I just created. So if I were to now exit out of here and open a new window and say, okay, let's say, uh, let's see what path it is aware of. And you can see that now it automatically appended this extra um, path that I care about. And I didn't have to type in that export, uh, expert uh, command line. Uh, if I say AWS version, it can find it. And this will work every time I open the, pro, um, the terminal application. So it's a very handy way of setting some default um, path variable um, for this terminal application to be aware of. Now we're going to use this same technique to set some other configuration that AWS um, CLI uses. Okay, this concludes the part one of how to install and configure AWS CLI on macOS. So we went over three things. First, checking the Python version on your computer, and if you don't have it, how to install it. Then we install the pip. Then finally, we use pip to install the AWS CLI. And in doing so, we learned how to use bash underscore profile file to set some default settings, such as path variables, so that your AWS CLI will work consistently each time you launch terminal application. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next part, which is how to now configure AWS CLI to connect to your AWS account and work with your resources.